Hello and welcome to my fifth video on my arrow video collection which is going to be the Japanese section. Enjoy. Hello and uh, first off I must apologise for any mangling of names. Um, hopefully I won't do too bad but here we go. Uh, Nikatsu Diamond Guys Volume 1. Three films in this packet. Uh, a Voice Without a Shadow. Red Pier and the Rambling Guitarist. Um, Voice Without a Shadow is sort of like Japanese film noir, and the other two are um, Red Pier is a sort of Yakuza crime film, and the Rambling Guitarist is what they call borderless action. Um, very good films, all of those. I think the first two are in black and white, and they look stunning. And it is an excellent set. Uh, a nice booklet with it. I'm trying to get my hands out of the way. Um, three very good films, very entertaining. Uh, when I bought that, um, the box came was huge and really heavy, and I thought, what the hell is going on here? I only ordered one film, and inside were nine copies of the uh, volume one, so I sent eight of them back um, and got some points on my uh, account which was nice. Next up Nikatsu Diamond Guys 2 uh, slightly different films, these are more comedy influenced um, Tokyo Mighty Guy Danger Pays and Murder Unincorporated three good films or I say three, I, I haven't seen Murder Un Unincorporated yet and that is meant to be a bit of an oddball. Um, Tokyo Mighty Guy, sort of comedy drama, very good. Uh, Danger Pays, which is the first of the three to feature uh, Joe Shishido. Um, comedy crime caper, <laughs> very good. And I did laugh in places, it's really good. Surprising that the, um, the humour travels. Next up is... Brilliant title, Detective Bureau 23, Go to Hell Bastards. Um, a film by Sage and Suzuki. I really enjoyed this. Um, again, Joe Shishido. Uh, th the only thing that sort of lets it down is, is his sort of partners who are meant to be like a comedy duo, but they don't quite come off right. But a good film. Um, just to know all these Japanese films are blind buys, I've not seen them any, any of them before I bought them um, I've been pleasantly surprised that they've all been good the only one I have seen before is the last one which I'll get to eventually um, Branded to Kill, Sage and Suzuki this is a fantastic film uh, it was the film that got him sacked from Nikatsu because um, the boss man had just had too much of his films at didn't make any sense and didn't make any money so they gave him a sack but this is a really good film widescreen black and white and it looks fantastic it is brilliant Joe Shishido again well worth checking out another Joe Shishido but this one was Yasuhura Hasabi's Massacre Gun another widescreen black and white, I do love the widescreen black and white films, they are just stunning to look at, love them. Another brilliant package from Arrow, dual format booklet, as with these previous ones, booklets and everything, brilliant. And the first one I got is Yasura Hasabi's Retaliation, and this is a fantastic film. I really really enjoyed this. Uh, Joe Shishido again and Akira what's it? Excuse me. Yeah, Akira Kobayashi. Uh, what can I say? It is it is it's a Yakuza film and it is bloody brilliant. I was knocked out when I saw that from 1968. It's incredible. set of six Yakuza films, Outlaw Gangster VIP, the complete collection. This is a box set of 
arrows, it doesn't fit the mould. Flimsy cover with a flap. Um, nice booklet. Digi pack, so dual format. Six films. Very good. Um, especially the first two or three. After that, it does get a bit confusing because you've got um, the same actors playing different characters, and some of them even got the same names that they had before. Um, but when you consider they made six of these films in less than two years, outstanding. A nice package. Pretty it wasn't in a harder case, but good. Orgies of Edo. This is. Hey, for, sorry, I'm getting distracted. My cat's come over here. She loves this cabinet for some reason. This is a film by director Teru Ishii, who makes some really odd, odd pictures. This is a portmanteau film, really. Three stories connected by the Doctor. Um, very bizarre in places. The second story, I think, is the best. Uh, well worth a watch, but it is a bit odd. The Bloodthirsty Trio, sorry, Trilogy, The Vampire Doll, Lake of Dracula, Evil of Dracula. Uh, this was for sale in the members only sale that Arrow had a while ago. Um, it retails at £25, but they had it for £7.50. I couldn't miss that up. That was brilliant. It's got a lovely... Slip cover, and it's that soft, soft touch velvety thing. Very good. Same artwork there. Two discs and a booklet. Three very good films. Uh, these are more along the lines of Hammer Horror than uh, what we consider J Horror now. Uh, even down to the fact that the old sort of European style mansion. Next up is Tiro Ishii's Blind Woman's Curse, Miko Kaji's first starring role, I think. Uh, 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 brilliant film. Odd in places, as you'd expect with Ishii. Um, basically, a female Yakuza film uh, with a Japanese ghost story and some grotesque elements as well. The opening scene of the sword fight in the rain is outstanding absolutely brilliant uh, you have stuff like that and then you have this yakuza boss who keeps farting all the time very odd um a nice for uh, a nice package very good film female prisoner prisoner scorpion the complete collection a great package look at that four films a hardback booklet and a poster. Um, good range of special features. Featuring the beautiful and enigmatic Miko Kaji. Uh, these are fantastic films. Hard to watch in places and what the actress went through and the character herself is... Yeah, it just takes some watching. But fantastic. Every one of them, brilliant. Um... What can I say? Love the artwork, great package, and well worth picking up if you still can. I think there's a few left. Uh, my first Miko Kaji film, or two, should I say, which is Lady Snowblood and Lady Slo Snowblood Love Song of Vengeance. The first one is just absolutely awesome. What a brilliant film! Um, second one's no slouch. Well worth getting both of those. Again, a nice booklet. And she is just absolutely badass in this film. Gotta love a bit of Miko Kaji. Kinji Fukasaka's Battles Without Honour and Humanity, first one. 
I've only got two of these. These originally came in a in a very impressive box set. Um, these are very stylized, realistic, almost documentary type films. Um, to the fact that some of the characters, when they're introduced, you get a freeze frame, and then you get uh, information about them on screen. Uh, the only thing I found was so many different characters and that it was hard to know who was who in the end. The second one is Hiroshima Deathmatch. Um, different characters, uh, similar style. does feature Miko Kaji which I think was the reason I bought that. Well worth checking out. Also, Fukasaka's Cops vs. Thugs, uh, very similar in style to the Battles Without Honor films. Um, lots of cops, lots of thugs, difficult to keep up with who's doing what. Uh, a very tough film, a brilliant, well worth a watch. Another good release from Arrow. And cracking artwork again, I love it. quite a recent purchase sister Street Fighter collection I got this in the um, recent sale nice slippy there we go nice booklet as well it features four films but only three um, are really Street Fighter Oh, Charlotte, Sister Street Fighter Films. The, f the fourth one, uh, she plays a totally different character with a different name, and it's it's not quite the same. They, they've called it Sister Street Fighter just to cash in on the Street Fighter series. And the last one, which is the only... J horror film that I've seen before. Um, can you guess what it is? It is Ring. Uh, this is my only other steel book. Uh, this I got in the sale recently as well and the only reason I didn't pick up the standard release is this one's got a booklet. Um, amazing artwork there. Eh? Um, continued over as I say, nice booklet. Uh, most everyone knows about that film. It is a cracking film. So much better than the American remake. Um, so I had to pick that up really. Uh, a nice set of extras on there as well. Um, I've got the J card somewhere. Here it is it off sort of shows you what's what um, and that ends my arrow video collection for the moment um, I do have some stuff coming in September and October which I'll probably do uh, unboxings for um, hope you've enjoyed these videos I'm now gonna decide what to do next could it be Eureka mm, could it be cinema reserve who knows thanks for watching hit that likes button subscribe um, and I'll see you next time thanks for watching